Exotic pest incursions can disrupt farming operations, lead to market access restrictions, and impact on fruit quality. The best scenario is early detection. This gives us the best chance of eradication. However, sometimes eradication is not always possible and being prepared to effectively manage a high impact exotic pest is important for supply chain continuity. There are many exotic plant pests that could potentially impact on Australian primary production. There are a few that stand out as particularly economically damaging and the spotted wing drosophila is such an exotic pest. The spotted wing drosophila has caused a few headaches overseas, more recently in the USA and in Europe. It can be a particularly problematic fly because it is, uh, it's cryptic, it's hard to pick out of a crowd. Uh, it can be mistaken for other drosophila species such as the vinegar fly. It also has the capacity to, um, to pierce fruit while still on the vine while they're ripening and lay eggs in those fruits. So those larvae will develop inside the fruit. This gives them some protection from chemicals that might otherwise help to manage the fly. The fly is particularly problematic because it can live in cool climates and also warm climates. So it has a quite a wide optimal range and it can increase in numbers very, very quickly, particularly if fruit is left to rot in the paddock. An outbreak of spotted wing drosophila in Australia would have a significant impact on our berry and soft fruit industries. Crop losses of 20 to 40 per cent have been commonly seen overseas, but if unmanaged, they can reach 80 per cent. The most susceptible crops are strawberries, caneberries, blueberries and cherries, but summer fruit and table grapes can also be impacted. These industries have an estimated production value of over $1.6 billion in Australia, so we have a lot to protect. Thankfully, spotted wing drosophila has not reached Australia as our geographic isolation and our significant border control efforts have protected us. However, given the fact that it's very fast spreading and it has a very invasive nature, there is a chance this pest could arrive here. Industry awareness and on-farm monitoring for this pest in susceptible crops will be vital to enable early detection and possible eradication. We're developing our understanding of the spotted wing drosophila and the risks posed to Australian growers by this pest. Part of this research includes developing models that predict the rate of spread and likely regions for establishment in Australia. Under an incursion scenario, our current model predicts that establishment would be mostly along the east and southeast coast of Australia, where appropriate climatic conditions combine with large amounts of human movement and susceptible crops. You may be getting the impression that this is a complex beast, and you're right, it is. However, with the right preparedness work, we can make the idea of managing, containing or eradicating spotted wing drosophila seem much less overwhelming.